Welcome to Radio Fixer's channel. Subscribe for upcoming videos. Let's assemble AM transmitter. Since YouTube tags some of my video as copyright, I have to redo them over and over again until accepted by YouTube. So I decided to buy an AM transmitter kit and put it together so you can connect it to internet and play old music that is not a copyright. Is this doable? I have no idea, but we can try it, right? We have nothing to lose. This is what I order online to, through eBay. It came from Thailand. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to this like it stems once in a while. Pretty neat, pretty interesting. Actually I had to go post office sign to pick it up. It's <laughs> just thirteen dollars, but I assume they want to know that I received this. What this is is supposed to be a kit that you can put together, be able to transmit AM hook up to any type of tape player or FM radio but it will broadcast it in AM. Let me open this. Use maybe a scissor. Have a good packaging. That's great. See, it shows where all the parts goes and you solder this side. Should be pretty interesting building this. And it comes a bunch of parts. Gee, there's tons of things in here. Wow, this is where the antenna is hooked up. Of course, I don't have the antenna, but I should find something. Actually, small this is. <laughs> Darn, no schematic. <laughs> Here we go again, no schematic. How they sell a stuff without a schematic? But we can figure it out, right? I think this goes here. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe because I'm not sure. Where this one goes? Man. They're darn so small, these things. Maybe this goes here? We will find out soon, right? Don't laugh if this doesn't work. Remember that I do not have any electronic background and I do this as a hobby. Just be nice, all right? <laughs> all right, finally I found the schematic online. <laughs> Gee, you know, so anyway, I want to put the link down for you. So if you want to check it out, everything is different language. I, since this was sent from Thailand, I believe that's the language. So let's use Google Translator is up there, right there. That's why I like Google. So you can uh, change it to English because this one all I cannot read what they say. So let's change it to English. Okay, now everything is in English. This is the website. This is exactly what I bought. I ordered this a few years ago. So finally I decided to put it together. Uh, so here it's all in English. So let's keep going down. So here they have two YouTubes. I already checked them out here, everything in English. It tells you about all the parts, which is a good thing. I'm glad Google had this, that you could change the language. Otherwise I could not figure it out. If you come down, it has more information, a few pictures, of course. And very clear pictures. This is back of exactly my board. This is the end result. I give you some good pictures. Here are all the parts that you saw it came with mine. Then here also explained, you know, the stuff in different language, of course, because it's a picture. More information here is the schematic. Here's a better detail. There's more information here. This is, to <laughs> this is going to be crazy. I figured I'll put this thing together. More. 
schematic. For those of you who can read the schematic, this this will do. Now I know each part we're actually going to install. Of course, this is marked on PC board as well. That's what I need to know. I need to know <laughs> all these parts actually were being soldered. So it has that. So I don't need to figure these things out. So here's as example R14 is a 220 ohm resistor. And this is the color of the resistor. Then I look through the PC board and install one by one. Hopefully this makes sense. Again, this guy, he did really did a great job in this. Anyway, this is the information I'm going to use to put this crazy thing together. Let's see how it works. He has a great review on YouTube. I went and check. He doesn't show how to put it together. In YouTube, he just shows the test he did in this. And for those of you who want to check it out, again, I put the link in the bottom. It's not a secure link. And uh, so be careful, you know, don't order anything from here, I guess. For a while, I thought there's no way I can find the schematic, but I keep checking, checking, checking until I found it. Anyway, let me still work on this thing and put the parts together. All right, we installed more parts here. Let me cut the extra wires off. Hopefully after all this work, this thing gonna work. If this doesn't work, so I learn through the process, right? That's how we get good at this doing thing. The thing he bought me, as you know, I don't give up. I keep trying 10,000 way until I get it. This gotta work. Yeah, now there is no other option. I don't want you to reject my videos because I'm playing music. I mean, it's a, radio, it's a darn radio, right? So what else are you gonna play on radio? Those, but I wanna play some music for you guys to see how well these radios are playing. But YouTube keep, you know, putting that copyright and stuff on my videos that's why i was forced to look for a different solution uh, maybe this gonna work out again we don't know right the best i can do i try if it works awesome if it doesn't then i know right okay let's just keep working on this thing all right folks finally <laughs> it finished everything's together see it's looking good does it work i have no clue we're gonna test it together but it looks pretty nice see all the soldering it finished see this is run with 12 volts so i found this you know i usually hold on to all these transformers when the equipment goes bad i found one it shows right here this is this 12 volt dc i actually measured it and it really is a 15 volt so somehow i want to reduce this to 12 volts i might put some type of like a diode to reduce it to 12 volts because i don't want to damage this thing that i just built so this goes right here and i was lucky this is fit perfectly i have a bunch of this but this is the only one that actually plugged in here and then you need one of this this is a cable one side goes to the computer speaker Another side is going to hook up, of course, right here, like that. I do not have antenna. If you know where I can find those type of antenna, please let me know. So we're going to test this on my computer. And the old radio that I restored was one of my first radio that I stored. It's a very small radio, so we're going to test this and that to see how it's working. I'm pretty excited. If this works, man, I'm going to be so excited about this. No more youtube kicking my videos out because there is a copyright issue all right i'm going to show you the website i found that they have tons of 1930 songs and they sound just incredible let's see if i can pick that up through this and transmit it to my am radios i'm excited about this folks so let's figure these things out all right, this is the website I found is an internet archive for the 1930 songs. I'm pretty excited about this. Let me tell you why. It took me a while to find this website. I'm going to put the link in the bottom for you so you can access it. The good thing about this website, it has tons of tons of old song and well recorded. And when you start the first one, 
is automatically it goes to next and next and next and next. All right, as you notice, I already hooked this up. This is goes to the power cord. Of course, this is goes directly to the PC. To find out what range I need to set the radio so you can synchronize between this and the radio, the small AM FM radio, I want to set it on AM and let's find out what frequency can actually is synchronizing. Then I can set that tube radio to same frequency. So I'm going to turn this on. Okay, so I'm going to keep going up. Let me turn it down. So now if I set up the tube radio in that frequency, this should synchronize to the tube radio. With this you can adjust. You see? So this little thing you adjust how clear you want to pick up the station. All right. So now I know where I need to set that radio. Let me turn it on. I'm going to use my phone so be able to show you the dial. Okay, let's adjust the volume. So now we're going to set the dial here over 150 because you have to synchronize all this together and then again with this little thing here I can make her clear if this is going to I'd like to hear it you see that by adjusting that it sounds much better I guess it's going to jump automatically to the next song you see this, you see it here Look how clear it is. I'm going to turn this thing down. You saw by adjusting this, it picked up very, very clear. This is just amazing, this little unit. Again, I reason I put it close to radio so I can video at the same time. It's just unbelievable. This just play incredible song. Wow, this is going to solve the problem. YouTube not going to kick my video out because of copyright. This is just amazing. I'm going to start the song. Let's see if I come up here, I change this to... You see that? He's <laughs> playing. <laughs> This is awesome. No, YouTube is not going to kick my <laughs> videos out. Let me stop this. I can set this about six feet or to eight feet away without antenna if you know where i can find the antenna please let me know uh, so this is working without the antenna it's just unbelievable so the good thing about this website is it goes from song to song automatically so you don't need to start over and over again just start any song you want and it goes through all of them and there are tons of them there so anyway let me again start it let's start different song let me come here. Let's let's play this. Takes a little time to upload. If I change the song, another song up there. Let me turn this thing down. Folks, I'm so excited about this. Now, finally, finally, I can play 
all this old song on my old radios. And this is just incredible, this little gadget here. Again, the reason I put it so close to the radio is so I can video it at the same time. I can put this without antenna several feet away and it will still work pretty strong. Just want to share this with you, man, this is exciting. I can't believe it. I can't believe this is awesome. I'm playing now, finally, I'm playing my radios for hours because in the past I couldn't do that. Majority of the AM station, as you know, political talk or churches and uh, the sports, of course, there's nothing wrong with those. So those of you enjoy that, it's always great to listen to the radios, old radios that are restored, uh, the old music. At this time, I want to take the opportunity and thanks my subscribers uh, with their uplifting comments. You always encourage me to upload more videos since this is just a hobby of mine. Again, I appreciate you. Enjoy all these videos and you all have an awesome day. Take care. If you're interested to see more videos like this, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel and you will be notified uh, when a new video being uploaded. You have a great day.